It's me, it's me, it's Brandon T. Welcome back to another episode of Painting with Magic. On this episode, we're going to do a nice little painting I'm thinking of a little distant mountain with two trees, a tree over here, maybe a little lake or something in there. And we'll just see how it goes. I'm using the 16 by 20 canvas. The amazing white medium is already on there. I'm using my signature paints and all this stuff can be found in the Painting with Magic Deluxe Kit. Uh, you can use our brushes. They're in a Magic Brush Kit and the Deluxe Kit as well. So let's get started. Let's take a little bit of titanium white and a little bit of Prussian blue. I don't want too dark of a sky today. Something kind of kind of distancy. And let's go up here. And we're going to use an X stroke today. That kind of almost makes a phalo blue almost. Just get it on. Side. Maybe a little bit more. And big large strokes. Get it in there. Monkey face on it. Okay. And then we'll just put a little lake in there. Now we gotta remember this is gonna be even closer to us now. So let me a little touch of black in there. And if you do this, you see all those little breakages. See all those little breakages. No pressure on that. It's kinda like whenever you do watercolor painting, you let the, the paper be the white. So check that out when we're done with that. That's gonna be really good. I think that's gonna be really cool. So that's all we need to do to that. Leave it alone if you do that. Okay, then we'll take old pout knife. A little roll pound there with titanium white. And let's put a little stringy cloud over here. Yeah, you can do clown with a knife. Something about like that. Okay. Then kind of give it a little little air through there. Soften them down. Okay, then we'll take some titanium white and that Prussian blue, maybe a tiny little bit of black with that. Maybe a little touch of crimson. And then we'll see what that looks like up here. I think it's going to be dark enough. It is. Coming in the distance. Very far away. Very far away. Look so far away. Okay, then we'll just pull him out. A lot of blue on that brush, ain't they? I'll just pick up a little bit of that mountain color. And an old one inch brush. Mist them out a little bit. Very far away the trees are. Alrighty. Okay, let's take some, some more brush. Take some sap green. We'll touch a burnt umber with that. And maybe there's some trees live back here. You're kind of in a more of a distant tree. Some more greenier, more far away. Something about like that. Oh, it's looking good. We like that green. I love that green. Green, 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 green. Alright. Nice distancy. Now let's take a little of the burnt umber. Mix it right in there with that sap green. Maybe a tiny little touch of ivory black. And we'll see what we get. Let me kind of come here a little closer now. Maybe make it a little more brownier. A little more black. Sap green. Back up here. 
That's good. Mm, a little bit of that in there. And because it's got a little reddish color in it, it kind of harmonizes with the green. Okay, okay, good, 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 good there. And then we'll take some black, it's blue, or black, I read black. We'll see what we get now. We can take a breast straight on and push it up. See all those nice planes now. We got a bunch of different layers coming through here. Bunch and a bunch and a bunch and a bunch of layers. Look at all those layers. Trees. And you see how it looks like it's very glacier-y now. Kind of really glittery looking. Okay. Alright. I'm going to take a liner brush. And I'm going to use some of my Amazing Clear Medium for this. We go a little Amazing Clear. And we're right through this. Amazing Clear is a super clear medium. Non-toxic oil. Okay, let's go right up here now. Let's see. Oh, there's a little bit of tree that's here. Oh, that was a beautiful little tree. Maybe we're another one that's over here. That old mat looks far away. Far. Far away. Alrighty, looks pretty good. And maybe we'll just do a little bit more to this one. You got all day to do this at home in your studio. I'm not sure to guide you and to show you some techniques to do this on your own. And you should be able to fire off on yourself and make some beautiful little paintings, get monkey faced on it yourself. I'm just going to pull up some things back here because it makes it look interesting and gives it a nice bunch of little things here. It helps the eye flow a little bit. It makes it look like there are all kinds of little things that live down here. Okay, I'm just going to wash the old brush. Now you can use um, several different things to clean your brushes with. Uh, you can use a DIY brush clearer that's on our website that you can make for free. Or you can use mineral spirits or whatever you like. So I'll tell you what we'll do now. Let's make some little highlights. I'm going to use uh, some, a little bit of ama the amazing medium, white medium, and some cadmium yellow on a one inch brush, and a little bit of this dark color on a one inch brush. Let's kind of go back here now. Let's go and touch one little top corner of this brush. Not too much going on back here. Now you can push if you want to with the uh, brush, but it's more your style of trees. But I like to tap my trees on. Sometimes I like to do the little push up method because it gives you a different kind of look. Each style is your own. Make sure it's your own way, however you like to do it. Maybe you like it doing it this way too. Okay, I'm put some little grassy things up back there. And if this paint is not sticking, you can have more amazing white or amazing clear to it I don't recommend adding any thinner mineral spirits or paint thinner to the paint because your paint will then crack and that's no good we did add a little bit up through here but whenever we're doing this stuff like this we'll use the uh, amazing clear on that didn't we but you can use whatever you like okay Maybe it's has some more of that scent green to this. Could be a few little green ones living there. A few little green spots. Don't want to get rid of the dark, so make sure you keep the darks and stuff in. 
Okay, and we'll just pull this down a little bit. And we're just gonna go across it. Comes like a tiniest little bit of some amazing white medium. Get a little real paint. And let's go up here and put some few little water lines back here. Make sure you keep it as straight as you possibly can. If not, it's going to look like the water's running off. Maybe a little bit more medium. Okay, we just kind of take this corner, just thump this knife and kind of pull it in, pull down with it. And this is the old large magic palette knife that you can get on our website, and it comes in our kit along with the same brush we're using so far. All right, it looks really, really good. I really like that a lot. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just kind of smash in a few things here, throw in some background music, some fillers. And let's mix up a big brick cup. I'm going to take this color of this little thin paint. I'm going to take some ivory black, Prussian blue, crimson, burnt timer, sap green, all the good dark colors. Alright, big pile of paint. And let's put some big evergreen trees. Alrighty. And we'll say we got a tree. He lives over here somewhere. Today I think I'm gonna push up and set it down today. We'll make a tree that's kind of fat. Big old fat tree like me. We'll put another big old fat tree over here. Now I'm purposely making these very wide, powerful trees in there. Now I didn't know if these over on the back side would have covered this up, and I thought I threw those in anyway. Okay, then we can say, uh, some land will be there. And we're going to need to mix up some more paint. Some more black, some blue, some crimson, some umber, the rest of that green. Alright, a good amount of paint. And we'll load up again. We have one big monster tree over here. Right there. Here's where we'll start them off at. And we're just going to push up. I hope we don't cover up too much, but we'll find out what we in a heartbeat. Now I want them to be fairly wide, but you need them to be open. Very open. Reload them when you need to. A big monster tree, big monster, monster, monster. Just fill all that in there. You can see you have a little bit of a light going through there. And just fill this all this in. With a little one-inch brush.
throw more paint in there when you need to. Pays off to have a good sturdy so you can give it a beating. Okay. I may go ahead and throw a little bit more sap green down. Maybe a little bit more ivory black. These are my signature oil paints. They're very thick and buttery and creamy. They work very well. Okay. And they come in a set of seven. Okay, let's grab some of the, the black and the sap green. A little brown in that too. And we'll just throw a big tree over here. Kind of helps cover up some stuff. Okay. Titanium white, a little burnt umber. A little bit wrong on that side. Let's go up here and put a trunk in these trees. We'll start the big monster tree. He needs some big bones. Throw in some scratches. Where he needs a little bit too. And you can make some bigger things like that. Okay, and we're going to highlight everything now. So we need to take some amazing white. A little sap green with that, a little black. And let's go right over here. Let's go to the big one. These little trees are a lot easier to paint than the ones pushing down. But it's a good thing because when you want something a little different looking, it pays off when it's a little easier. See that beautiful little tree? Big monster tree, I mean. Big old monster tree. Okay, then on this side. We'll paint this little water one first. The paint on this is very minimal. I want it to dip darker as it goes on. And if it's not sticking, just add a little more amazing light to it. Okay, it's very fast, very easy. Put some trees back in there now. A little rounded corner. Let's go right up here. And we'll touch more medium. Now again, so over here I want to push up on it. See that is a great old brush. Okay, and I'm just going to push this brush up on this side. Makes a big tall grasses. See those tall grasses? See it in like a nice rough effect. Looks good every now and then when you do it this way. Maybe a little tree over here. Tree or two. Okay. Then we'll take a liner brush and I'll make another tree. Count this in here. More of the amazing clear.
and this is a wet on wet painting technique so it's all done in one setting you should be able to do this painting fairly quickly and fix the tip of it now okay that's better very nice I love that and maybe a few little things live down here things to help it help it out and then we have a finished little painting with a couple more little things in here just to pull out the the layers that are in here make it look a little better all right and this is pretty much it you'll be able to make it look a lot better than what I can here because you got a lot more time and I'm just going to sign them. Hope you enjoyed painting with me today. I sure had a lot of fun. We've we done a lot of new things. See how I make water just a little differently. I mean, you have to learn how to do some mist on the other episodes we've done and if you enjoy these little episodes, if you enjoy what we do here, please subscribe. Share our videos around. Um, and check out our website at brandthomasart.com and check out the supplies that we offer. Each purchase helps us keep these shows going. Keeps me on YouTube. Keeps me on uh, here making great videos and tips for you. And I'd like to thank everybody who's made a purchase from our store. Every subscriber. Everybody who likes our Facebook page. we got something very special coming your way very soon. And, um... Please watch our other videos on here. And this one's ready for an art gallery. So is yours. And I'll see you real soon. <laughs>